All right, so if you go to Canvas, um, you will see now, remember, uh, every week there's a brand new module. And in each of these modules are all of the things that you need to do to do well that, uh, that particular week. So we're already on week three of the class. The class lasts uh, eight weeks plus a finals week, so nine weeks. So we're not quite halfway through the semester, but we're getting close. And it doesn't even feel like it, but we're almost halfway. So anyway, the important things are for uh, this week, if you just jump straight forward to the, to the assignment, the next assignment that's coming is another 20-point assignment. Um, and the details of it are right here, so let's check it out. Uh, what we've got is um, you will have a lot of leeway to create any story from your imagination. Now remember also, however, we are in a public institution. We want to be respectful to your classmates and create content perhaps that isn't offensive or inflammatory. It should be safe for the general public. Uh, and it'll be a great chance to show off your creative skills. So you're going to create a, a folder for your project week two. Or actually, sorry, that should be called Project 2. Last name, Project 2. I'll fix that in a moment. Last name, Project 2. Uh, you're going to create an, an Adobe Animate project. And notice right here, it, it should be in the ActionScript 3 format. We used HTML5 before, and that worked fine for what we needed it before. But now that we're going to make a movie, it doesn't quite make sense, but we want to put it as ActionScript 3. We're not really going to code anything in the project, but in order for us to do some of the things that we need to do, it should be in the format ActionScript 3. Uh, the size of it is going to be the same size, 1920 by 1080, so that's HD quality. That's 1080p HD quality, 24 frames per second. I guess if you want to do your project in you know 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second, you could. But the problem with going with higher frame rates is that your file will be bigger, and that will require then a more powerful computer to even render it. So 24 frames per second is good cinema quality, and at 1080p should be high quality. Uh, we'll come back to this when we actually have to do it, but as we make our project, we will eventually export it as an MP4, an actual video file. The steps are right here, and we'll do it together later. But you're going to need to export your project and then convert it with Adobe Media Encoder, and then it'll be your MP4. Eventually, you're going to upload into Canvas the FLA file and the final MP4 file. So you'll upload those as you've done before. The actual requirements to get graded on, uh, you'll have at least one walk cycle. Of course, I'm going to start to explain these. So if you don't know how to do this, well, we're going to talk about it, of course. But you're going to need a walk cycle. Your character is going to need to walk. Even if your character doesn't have legs, it will be able to walk. You will be able to create a walk cycle. Maybe like, let's say you've got a little ghost. The ghost doesn't have legs. Well, it's probably going to be bobbing around as it moves around, or a little tail of smoke behind it, or something. So it can still do something of a walk cycle, even if it doesn't have legs. Uh, if you're having trouble, of course, we, we can do some one-on-one -on -one to figure out your particular character. You'll need a parallax scrolling background. One of the first things we'll, ta we'll talk about today, and it's the background moves at different speeds uh, compared to your character and such. We'll also talk about camera movement, being able to zoom in or zoom out of the scene, pointing here for a moment and moving the camera over here, just like a camera in the real world. Music. So we'll want music um, added to your movies. We'll see how to do that. Uh, you know, the subject matter and such, notice that's not really going to be the focus of the grading, but I do expect it to be professional. Uh, so perhaps moving away from stick figures and such, unless it's really uh, in a great overall scheme of things. I'm grading more on the ability to do these techniques than artistic ability. But again, I do expect something professional because if you're going to turn in stick figures to get a real job at you know, Sony Interactive, is that really going to get you in the door? So 
Um, what else here? 20 points due by Wednesday, January 27th. That's about two weeks-ish, week and a half, however you want to count it. And that's going to be at the end of the day at 4 o'clock. So we'll have the lab times, of course, today, Wednesday, next Monday, next Wednesday. But we'll also be doing some lectures uh, on those days. And um, here's how you'll be graded, right? You'll have um, these items here, um, four points for this, four points for that, etc., etc. And in total, it adds up to 20. So that's coming up. Uh, that's the general idea of what this is. And we'll cover it in, in detail in the various lectures. Uh, so um, you know what I forgot to write in here? One more thing that I'll change. Uh, it has to be at least 30 seconds long. Uh, so let me just fix that right now. I need to fix two little things. Sorry about that. Uh, there's no mention about the time. And the name of this is wrong. So let me just change this. Your folder should be called last name, project two, and also requirements at least 30 seconds long. You can go for a five minute long movie, no problem. I'll see you next year when you finish it. But with 30 seconds, I think you can create uh, something interesting with a beginning, middle, and end. I showed you examples of previous students that they're all around 30 seconds, 40 seconds, and it, it, they, were, they were good. They were introducing an idea, um, showing some action, and then, of course, well, you're done, 30 seconds to be continued or whatever. Uh, a couple of them were that they were able to do their whole story in about 30 seconds. Uh, that's fine. So you're not being graded on, like, your plot uh, or uh, how believable the love story is, none of that. You're going to be graded on some of these technical aspects, mostly. Of course, that it is professional, however that's defined, because I'm defining it. And, um, you know, minimum amount of time and uh, dimensions and such. Question? It says action script three things. It was engaged to No, after uh, this is correct here. After testing it a little bit more, because if you want to do scenes, uh, it doesn't work with HTML5, unfortunately. So you do want action script three. That way you can do scenes. And we'll cover scenes as well. So good. Any other questions on what the project will be? OK, let me show you one more inspirational example, and then uh, we'll do the lecture. If you do look at, the, at this week's module, week three, you'll see uh, under the uh, toolkit, I often add links and such there that might be useful to you. Let me show you an example of um, a previous animation. And this one is based on the example that I put into our network folder. Uh, let, me, let me pull up the storyboard first and then I'll show you the then I'll show you the um, the, the end result. Uh, remember this storyboard that uh, I put in here as an example. How I said, okay, Space Quest Part 3. You look at the title, the ship comes in, blah, blah, blah. Remember that. We looked at that last week. Let me show you how that then got translated to be a movie. And the example is you can watch it. Um, you can watch it right there in the in the toolkit. It's right here. So let me check my volume.
right, so that is what came from that storyboard. You see it had all the big ideas of uh, opening title, there's music and stuff happening, here's the ship coming into the planet, there's the ruins going to the front door. Now again, uh, so these examples that I'm showing you, these are what I've made as examples to show students. So this is the storyboard I made, then I made that other animation. I had the idea here, okay, I'm going to have the character walking toward the, uh, the the front door. I didn't end up doing it that way, right? It was just a close-up of the character by the door, and the camera moved around a little bit, and then scary music. Over here, uh, okay, reaching toward the gem. Again, it was a different sort of perspective. Uh, it was more from behind her, her back rather than sideways like I have here. And then some sort of creature. I guess I had here like some sort of monster creature with, you know, jaws and claws and stuff. I ended up being a robot thing, I guess. And then to be continued. So you don't have to be stuck with exactly what you did on your storyboard that you have to create it when you animate it. It's okay to change it as you actually start working. Uh, but that's one of the one of the great things about having a starting point as a a storyboard you you can change it so looking at it again here without music there's the fade in of an object there's the movement of the planet there's the 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 ship coming in there's a the camera moving away from the scene yeah very boring sky very boring landscape all of that can be added upon but the big ideas are here the ship lands the character teleports in um, think in terms also of the length of, of things. How long do you need to show the running? How long do you need to show this pause right here? Well, the music is also happening in the background to give you a sense of, uh, you know, here's a, here's a mystery, here's danger, here's an adventure, here's whatever. Again, different shots here. That gem I, I would have liked to have drawn it sparkling and rotating or something. You know, there's, there's time for that still. Um, starting with a certain point, um, minimal, then you add to it, uh, realizing what's behind. I didn't have um, that shot at all in the storyboard, but I thought it'd be good. Well, close up on the eye, she hears something, what happened? And then there's a, the, the, the protector of the gem or something. Big red background to kind of catch your attention, and then it's, it's done. That came out to about a minute. You're going to see that. 30 seconds might be might feel like so long or not long enough and that's okay but you've got your minimum of the 30 seconds to work on uh, questions on the example here versus the storyboard okay so we're gonna need to talk about how to do some of these things um, you know like the camera movement over here see how the camera is looking near the ruins for a moment and then the camera pulls back uh, we have the ability with Adobe Animate to zoom in and out. We see it right here too. The camera then zooms into the ship and then zooms into where she teleports. We'll be able to do that. A couple of things happening here. A walk cycle. Well, actually, she's running. So that's going to be a run cycle. And then there's the parallax background. Notice the background is moving over here and then something in the foreground. She's in the middle of things. Now, if you haven't muted your cell phones, please take a moment to mute your cell phones. and uh, going this way and then here's another camera movement uh, well actually two things the background is moving very slightly you see that while well, she's ahead of it it's just a little artistic camera movement but just kind of moving a little bit and then there's, there's the music playing then the camera zooms in to show okay she's got to go down that hallway she's in there camera zoom out and then the various poses and again when it's all together with sound really comes together. So we're going to be able to get a variety of sound files, either longer little soundtrack things or also what you would call musical stings, like a big sound. We'll be able to get those sorts of things for free uh, when we get to the music part of things. So 
for a school project, I suppose you could use famous music that you like, but the problem with that is that if then you really want to use it as a portfolio piece to later on to use to try to get a job and such, well then that's a copyright violation. And especially if you're trying to sell um, anything related to your concept and you're using copyrighted music, that's a copyright violation. So we're going to use, I'm going to highly recommend you use the free music we'll, we'll, I'll show you later, which was what I used here. Music that sounds dramatic or fun. Uh, or mysterious or fast-paced or sad we have a variety of kinds of music that we can use completely for free completely safe for you to use completely safe for your portfolio we'll get to that when we talk about music so let's cover a few of these topics uh, you can close canvas if you'd like now you can go over to Adobe animate and to get the practice uh, from Adobe animate here let's create a brand new file that it is action script 3 and the dimensions of our movie. So following the notes on Canvas, we need to create a new Action Script 3 file. What are the dimensions one more time? 1920 by 1080. Yep, what's our frame rate? 24 frames per second. Yep. So let's create a brand new file. Let's create a brand new file and let's make sure we've got our frame rate 24 frames. Action Script 3. Action Script 3, yes. Go ahead and save that file and uh, let's call it uh, Practice with Today's Date. So save it. Uh, I'm going to call it Practice Today's Date. So the first thing we'll cover here is a uh, parallax scrolling background. Uh, you've probably seen these a lot if you play video games. You might not know what it's called. But basically, this is when you've got some sort of character or a vehicle or whatever moving across the screen, and then the background moves. Um, I showed the example on that Space Quest where at a distance you see the horizon, and then near the camera you see rocks. So the character is moving in front of the background, but then behind of the foreground, where those rocks are. But that's a parallax scrolling background. The background scrolls at different speeds, is the big idea. So here's what we'll do. Uh, go ahead and zoom out maybe to like 25%, so you see the canvas really small. And... Um, we're having so much fun, I forgot. Would anyone like tablets? Yeah. Okay, let's pause there. Sorry about that. Let's pause there and let's get tablets.